A paleo diet is a dietary plan focused on consuming foods consumed by early humans more than 10,000 years ago. During the Paleolithic age, meats, seafood, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds are all part of a paleo diet. Before humans created agriculture, these were food sources obtained through hunting and gathering. Be sure to watch the video in its entirety to find out every pro and con of the infamous paleo diet. The paleo diet's central assumption is straightforward. We'd be better off eating what humans ate before the agricultural revolution. According to this ideology, the best meal is basic, unprocessed, and similar to what a hunter-gatherer would consume. The paleo diet, contrary to common misconception, is a plant-based diet. It comprises a lot of non-starchy veggies, all the green, red, orange, and yellow ones, and fruit in moderation. It contains meat, especially raw meat that is as wild as possible. In addition, there are eggs, nuts and seeds, shellfish, and fish on the menu. Eating as locally and seasonally as possible, making your own food, and being physically active are all encouraged. Drink water, some tea or herbal infusions, and little amounts of fruit juice or alcohol on rare occasions largely, while avoiding processed meals, grains, legumes, and sugar. On the other hand, Dairy is a good source of calcium and vitamin D, while legumes and grains are good providers of complex carbohydrates and fiber. Therefore, eliminating them from the diet entirely may do more damage than benefit. Furthermore, the paleo diet has no portion management guidelines, which might contribute to weight gain. This is a stark contrast to the usual American diet. Large-scale farming is used to produce most contemporary goods, such as dairy products, oils, legumes, and flowers. The raw food sources are then ground, combined, fermented, pressed, or otherwise manipulated to produce practically all these foods. The majority of the time, processing makes them unhealthy. Switching to a paleo diet will increase the vegetable and fiber intake for most individuals, which is beneficial to gastrointestinal health and overall inflammation levels. Preliminary studies on the paleo diet have shown favorable outcomes in blood glucose and cholesterol levels, and many anecdotal testimonies of people's improved health and well-being. However, because of the limited sample sizes in these studies, further study is needed to understand paleo as a diet and lifestyle guideline fully. Cons Heavy in red meat Eating a diet high in red meat causes the body to store more fat. Meat may also include harmful compounds that promote inflammation in the body and can lead to medical problems like heart problems, fatty liver, impaired kidney function, bone density decline, cancer, nutrient deficiency, lactose and other dairy products, grains, lentils, and beans are not allowed in the paleo diet, which can lead to major fiber and key vitamin and mineral deficits, which can weaken bones. Not for vegans. It is not suited for vegetarians or vegans, because it is a meat-based diet plan. Not for athletes. The paleo diet educates your body to use fat as fuel instead of depending solely on carbohydrates. As a result, it is not ideal for athletes that demand quick carbohydrate energy. Weight loss. The paleo diet is not recommended for long-term weight loss. If a person abandons the paleo diet after achieving their weight reduction goal and returns to a standard diet, they risk regaining the weight they previously lost. Costs. The diet can be very expensive because the suggested foods are often more expensive. Insufficient carbohydrates. Studies have shown that longevity is lowered when ordinary carbohydrates are totally substituted with an animal protein diet. Paleo diet side effects may include the following. Low blood sugar levels, hypoglycemia, you should exercise caution before starting the paleo diet if you use insulin or other medicines that might cause hypoglycemia. You'll need less medicine if you eat low carb, and your dosages may need to be adjusted to avoid low blood sugar. This is one of the key reasons why you should get medical advice before beginning a paleo diet. Flu caused by a low carb diet. Because most paleo diets are low in carbs, the pancreas is frequently under less pressure to create insulin. According to studies, the paleo diet can reduce insulin secretion and hence enhance insulin efficacy. As a result, insulin resistance, the driving force behind type 2 diabetes, is reduced and some patients may be able to lower the quantity of medicine they need. Cravings 
People may have food cravings early on in the diet, although this should not persist long. Energy deficiency. A decrease in carbohydrate intake may cause the body to enter ketosis, a state in which the body derives its energy from fat burning. When the body enters ketosis and adjusts to this new manner of utilizing energy, it might cause a transient sense of drowsiness. Depending on how low your carbohydrate intake is, this impact may or may not occur. Vitality levels normally rebound quite quickly, and many people report enhanced physical energy and mental clarity as a result. Breath Problems Some people may have poor breath as a result of their paleo diet. This varies from person to person and may be influenced by personal food preferences, diet composition, and other factors. Going into ketosis is one of the causes of foul breath. Ketones, which can be exhaled on the breath, might be unpleasant at times. The effect of ketones on the breath might vary based on the person and the situation. Another cause of foul breath is a high-protein diet, which causes the gut to produce hydrogen sulfide as part of the digestive process. Sulfur burps, which have an eggy odor, might surface as a result of this. When your body has acclimated to the paleo diet, bad breath is generally transitory and will go away within a few weeks. If it bothers you, consider cleaning your teeth more regularly during the day. Sugar-free chewing gum is another option. Change in bowel habits. A change in the foods you eat may cause your stomach to adjust, resulting in a change in your bowel movements. Any early digestive pain is generally very transitory and goes away after the colon adjusts to the new meals. Some people may notice that their bowel health improves and their motions become more regular on a paleo diet. Is it beneficial and safe for everyone? Individuals appear to have different optimum meat to carbohydrate ratios. In order to ensure that the paleo diet is good for your body, pay attention to how you feel and discuss with your doctor about tracking cholesterol and blood sugar fluctuations when starting any diet. In addition, because paleolithic meals would have differed widely based on region, certain people may require more individualization from the present paleo diet to reap the benefits. A common myth about the paleo diet is that it allows you to consume as much meat as you want, including bacon. According to emerging studies, most people's long-term health results are not improved by eating predominantly meat. Instead, the paleo diet stresses consuming a broad range of veggies, which has been shown to be beneficial to one's health in studies. Foods like snack bars, which don't include cane sugar, grains, or legumes, but are nevertheless highly processed, don't fit into a non-processed, whole food dietary pattern, regardless of the label. The paleo diet necessitates time and resources for purchasing fresh, local produce and preparing food at home, and time and energy for physical activity. This can be a stumbling block. Vegetarians and vegans will also struggle because beans are a key source of protein for them. Given the huge shift in food sources necessary, the paleo diet is difficult to adopt at home. However, while it might be challenging to stick to while dining out, many establishments are now offering paleo-friendly options. Overconsumption of saturated fats, which is a common byproduct of the meat fest many people indulge in using the paleo diet as an excuse, is unhealthy. In addition, saturated fats, which are abundant in red meat, have a number of negative consequences. Our modern cuisine is highly processed, relying mainly on carbohydrates, sugars, and trans fats. The majority of the chronic health issues that Americans face now were not as prevalent in the past. According to the Paleo Diet, our food may be contributing to these disorders. While some studies link weight loss and overall health improvements when following the Paleo Diet, many remain skeptical regarding its overall effectiveness. From a nutritional standpoint, adhering to certain parts of this diet can result in potentially damaging consequences. Before starting the Paleo Diet, you should speak with your doctor about any major nutritional change. A paleolithic style diet may suit you if you have the desire and time to make your own food and engage in physical activity. Always consult with your doctor and pay attention to how your body reacts. Let us know your thoughts on this diet in the comments.